On this episode of China Uncensored, Mao's Miraculous Mangoes! Hi, welcome to China Uncensored. I'm your purveyor of fruits of wisdom, Chris Chappell. The Cultural Revolution was just starting to heat up when, in August 1968, the Pakistani foreign minister visited Beijing and gave Chairman Mao Zedong a crate full of mangoes as a gift. Mao declared them the people's mangoes and sent them to a group of workers occupying Tsinghua University. They decided to send one mango to each of Beijing's most important factories, and thus began the journey of Mao's miraculous mangoes. At the Beijing textile factory, they sealed the mangoes with wax so they could be preserved for posterity. Then they laid them out on an altar and all took turns solemnly bowing to the fruits. When they began to rot, they were delicately peeled and boiled, each worker taking a spoonful of the miraculous mango soup. But mango fever was just beginning. Plastic, wax, and paper mache mangoes were sent around the country, and people came from miles around to see the mangoes. Lucky workers were even given fake mangoes in glass cases. They'd be admonished if they didn't hold them reverently. Planes were chartered specifically to carry the precious cargo. Mango brand cigarettes were a bestseller. China's official mouthpiece, The People's Daily, dedicated a poem to the mangoes. Seeing that golden mango was as if seeing the great leader, Chairman Mao. Again and again, touching that golden mango. The golden mango was so warm. Aww. No one had ever seen mangoes before. One rural dentist compared the fruit to a sweet potato. Yeah. He was put on trial for malicious slander and executed. <laughs> That was China during the Cultural Revolution, and that was just the beginning. It went on for almost a decade and got even crazier. But please, don't let the miraculous mangoes fade away. Share this video with your friends, check out China Uncensored's Facebook and Twitter page, and subscribe for more.